my god, it's my favorite show. Ghost of the Year! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 57th annual Ghost of the Year! We've got a plethora of ghosts to choose from here in the Pink City, but only one can be crowned the winner. But first, let's meet our bodacious panel of judges. Hailing all the way from Fuzzner Circus City, we have the exotically illiterate Mr. Squeeze. Hello, everybody. It is Squeeze. Hi, Mr. Squeeze. Hi, Mr. Squeeze. And beside him, we have... <laughs> Away from <laughs> and last but not least, we have nobody. There is no third judge, and there was never going to be. Oh, okay. They had four judges last year. I wonder if they lost their budget because of that horrible tragedy. They deserved it. Our first being ghost honest. is one that's been terrorizing the Pink City for generations upon generations upon generations upon generations upon generations upon generations Skug! This bloated ghoul is known for sneaking up on unsuspecting victims and blaring its boisterous bellow right in their ear. I know I wouldn't want to get caught. Wait, is he the one that makes the e sound whenever it's too quiet? When that goes slide of fright. Our next ghost, Invisible O, is a fan favorite among stupid people. Her primary characteristic being that she's invisible. Oh. But while not entirely dangerous on her own, She's known to form grudges easily, and will spend long periods of time stalking her victims. This includes being generally obnoxious, like knocking things out of her victims' hands, or bumping into them at inopportune moments. We normally wouldn't rate her appearance, given how she's invisible, but the technology of the Mark V Visabismo has allowed us to take this rare photo, revealing invisible O in action. Holy crap. Ghost number three, Ghoulius Ghoulius. This ghost is an ambush spirit, the most dangerous ghost class. Ghoulius has been reported to fly out at its victims and spin them violently until they regurgitate. Now let's see the marvelous specter in action. Holy crap. This one's pretty dangerous, so approach with caution and approach with caution. Our fourth ghost is Von Herustus. This strange ghost likes to prop itself up in vacant areas, like empty parking garages and dried up swimming pools. Thankfully, the typical lack of foot traffic around this beast prevents frequent civilian encounters, which we should all be thankful for. Von Herustus has the quite peculiar ability of making anyone who passes through it permanently forget the name of the person they care about most. Even after being reminded, the victim will always forget again within a matter of minutes. Hey, it's me! Maybe I have him, like, living in my house somewhere. Or my yard. Probably my yard. I probably pass them around them a lot. I forget a lot of names. Tragic. But also kind of funny. It is kind of funny. And our final ghost is... Uh, um, uh, well, I don't remember its name, but it spits goo on you or something. I'm bored. Roll the clip. Hoo <laughs> hoo!
<laughs> Judges, have you made up your minds? Okay, I guess it's that time of night where we find out which of these horrifying ghosts will be our Ghost of the Year! Ow, the f*** was that? All right. The Ghost of the Year is... Hmm. Oh great, now I'll never know. Wait, wait, wait. Was that was that, that one guy who likes to scream and make people spin around in circles a lot? I think it was. Well, that's it for tonight, guys. So, I will see you all tomorrow.